Well, look, I think it's going to be, we're going to make a deal. We always make a deal. But it's going to be a different kind of deal because it's got to be a deal that respects the values that in the new world order regarding uh, local policing. And, um, and, it's, and, you, and you pick the people that run those agencies and the deputies that are pledging allegiance to the new world order and good governance. And then I think you have the inspector general do some spot audits to make sure now, I've directed Superintendent Brown to order all police districts to give special attention to these parties. And this is how it's going to be. We will shut you down. We will cite you. And if we need to, we will arrest you and we will take you to jail. Period. As Democrats, if we do not speak the truth about violent crime in our city, we will be the worst for it. Uh, you know, and I, I come to this conversation as a former federal prosecutor. I come to this as a former defense attorney. I am the sister of a returning resident. But I know that there are people in my city that are wreaking havoc every day and need to be off the street. That's, that's reality. What do we say to not only the victims of crimes, but the people who are terrified about crimes in their neighborhoods, most of whom look like us, if we say, yeah, the police department is spending all this time and resources to arrest, put a case on, and then the judges and the prosecutors say, you know what, we're going to let you out on electronic monitoring to wreak havoc again. If somebody see, musters the courage to come forward and identify the person who had just shot up their neighborhood and then sees Pookie walking bold as day back on the street right. two days later, right. what does that say to them? You're telling them right. that the criminal justice system doesn't care about victims and witnesses. And if we don't call that out every single day with these prosecutors and with these judges, many of whom don't live in our city and don't care about what's happening, then we are going to lose an opportunity to advocate for the victims and the witnesses and the residents who just want and deserve peace. We got to say it. We got to say it. That's great. Let's but it's going to be a different kind of deal because it's got to be a deal that respects the values that in the new world order. Pledging allegiance to the new world order and good governance.